happy Friday. Uh, this is that blue JKU YouTube channel, and we are not in a blue JKU. That's actually over there. And today we're not going to be on that dump trailer. We are uh, actually taking that trailer right there, little T40 trailer. But I've got to pull up so I can pull my fifth wheel pin out, and then we'll get up under it and do our pre trip on that. Got a decent little day today. We're doing some different stuff, and uh, I'm excited to take y'all along for the ride. So uh, let's pull this truck up. Get this pulled up just a tad so I can get that fifth wheel pin out. That ought to be enough. We're going to go out here and pull this fifth wheel pin out back up under, and we'll finish up our pre trip. Alright, so this is our fifth wheel pin. we got to get this little pin out of here. And because that dump trailer we have, it's actual plate swivels. Ah, shoot, we gotta move the... Not quite done yet. I gotta back back up under this trailer so I can slide the fifth wheel. Alright, we'll go up here. Grab that and snatch it out. back in it. Had to hit it on the catwalk or something. Actually pretty decent today. Tags is good. Oh my, but the inside is filthy. I had to run a broom through this. For sure place we're going we can't have dirty trailers that one's flat we'll put some air in it it's not flat enough to be off the rim all good we're going to go get this swap out and uh yeah I'll, I'll look through here in the back but yeah you can see we can put air in that tire too you see through there it can't be like that where we're going so that trailer we picked up is going to be no good. It, uh, it's full of junk and the uh, right front outside tire has got a, looks like a crack in the sidewall, but it's leaking air. So we're not going to be able to fill it over there, so I'm going to park it right here and uh, we'll see about this one I'm parking next to see if we can grab it. Hopefully we can find one soon so I can get on the road, but if we don't, that'll be okay too. Just where we need it, out of the way. We're gonna see about this one that we're sitting next to. Come on, brakes lock out. 
some of these trailers I don't like, it takes a while for the brakes to lock up. Let's see, I've, I've pulled the brakes and they're still, they still hadn't locked yet. I gotta be able to lock the brakes so I can push the, the pin of the fifth wheel or my fifth wheel kingpin jaws off the kingpin so I can unhook it. I might be able to get it like this, but I don't know. hook from this and uh, I'm gonna check that one out and then uh, if that one's bad I'm gonna check that one out if that one's bad I'm gonna check that one out there's three of them right here we're gonna check them all out and see which one we can grab so I found a trailer I'm gonna have to call and double check the inspection on it because there's no inspection sticker but it's right over here we'll hook up to it and then we'll uh, probably should call it first I'll at least back up to it. And then we'll give them a shout. I'm gonna call them and find out what's up with this train. Alright, so I did some more research and every one of those trailers that was on the yard where I just parked that one all of them are down that one we dropped needed a sweep out in the tire the one next to it needs an inspection the one we backed up to needs an inspection and then the other two that were back there also need inspections we're gonna go back here to where we park the trucks and uh, there's a few more T40s back here so we'll see if any of these are good and hopefully we're able to find one I was hoping we were gonna be able to get that first one we backed up to this morning but uh, that's not looking to be the case. So we'll uh, keep searching. If we gotta sit here and wait for an inspection, I reckon we'll have to sit here and wait for an inspection. But uh, I'll see y'all when we finally hit the road. All right, so I felt like Lewis and Clark looking for a trailer there, but we finally found one. And uh, of course it needed something on it. It needed brakes adjusted and it needed a uh, grommet for the glad head. But we do finally have one. Thank the Lord. Now we're gonna go up here. I gotta turn in two days worth of paperwork. I didn't turn it in yesterday because I set till 11, I think it was. Yeah, 11. I didn't get any video of it, but I sat back there till 11 waiting for the tire shop to come change the tire that was off the rim. But when we get on the road, I got some exciting news. We're going to, uh, gonna have some good videos coming up here soon that don't involve me at work but I'll get more into that when we hit the road let's go up here turn this paperwork in and I'll talk to y'all in a few minutes all right so we're on the road again finally able to take off at 9 15 this morning it's about two hours later and I wanted to get up out of here but uh that's okay uh this weekend we've got a couple things coming up that are gonna be pretty fun uh, I did mention today's Friday so tomorrow morning which the video won't be out till probably Sunday and then I'll do the next one Monday. Tomorrow morning we're going to play Airsoft. Uh, something my nephew got into, my nephew and my stepdad both got into it. So we're going to go hang out with them tomorrow. I've got me a Picatinny mount for my GoPro and I found another sticky mount for my other GoPro that I'm going to try to stick somewhere up here. We're going to record at that. And then that's in the morning at 10 o'clock. And then tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock, the HPY Trails have a, another Jeep Club coming. Crystal Coast Jeep Club is going to go out there. So they'll have a bunch of people out on the trails tomorrow. And we're going to try to get done with Airsoft in time to get back to Rocky Mountain so we can go do that as well. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We've got a fun filled day tomorrow. And those ought to make for some pretty good videos. At least I hope so. But uh, right now I'm going to send you up to a time lapse and I'll see y'all when we get to Kenton.
Google Electrolux and we got a ride up here to these end docks and uh, our trailer should be sitting up here somewhere. Sometimes when we come up here they'll where are you doing, buddy? They'll park trailers uh, like right up against ours. So hopefully that's not the case today. But we won't know until we get right up here. We're getting a load of what we call uh, bare basket wire. It's not really sure what they use it for. They got painted and they got bare. This is the bare that we're getting today. And I think that's going to go into our yard as a uh, baling material. Or at least they'll unload it in the same spot. I think we can't find our trailer up in here somewhere. I think it's going to be right here maybe. Yeah, there it is. And they do have a trailer park right next to it. A Swift trailer at that. So. We may have a damaged trailer here. Their yard man come up and pull my trailer out of the door for me which is really nice i appreciate him doing that so now all i gotta do is uh, back this one in there and we're good to go there is a trailer really close on our passenger side that guy for pulling this out for me. I made life easy. Put this landing gear up. Hmm. 
just let that dangle. Kick these tires, make sure they're good. I think it's full of water. Bear basket water. The trailer tags are out on it, but we had to get those when we get back. All right, I'm gonna have to take my hand off the camera. Those are all good. Lights work. Everything else is good. We're getting ready to head up out of here. Now normally at Electrolux, I would have to drop my trailer, attach to this one, pull it out, shut the door, drop it, back back under the trailer I got, back it into the door, hook back up to my trailer, and then leave. But that guy, like I said, he saved me about 15, 20 minutes of dropping, hooking, dropping, hooking, which is really annoying. I've added it up before. I think when you have to do those like that, it's, we call it a double drop but when you have to double drop you have to get in and out of the truck eight different times which is really annoying and like that we're out of here in 17 minutes we pulled up at 1040 and we're rolling out of here at 1057 so we're gonna get back on 70 and then hit 795, 264, 95, and back to work. Where we're gonna get this unloaded, and then we gotta go to some old stomping grounds, the Universal Leap. But I'll uh, I'll speak more on that when we're headed that way, because I've been in and out and all around that building. And I'll see y'all when we get back to the yard. All right, we're here on the yard. We got it weighed in. It was only 63,000 pounds. We're getting unloaded now. I hope this wide angle is not terrible. This is the linear setting on the GoPro, but I wanted to record in 4K, and 4K only has linear, wide, and super wide. And I don't want wide or super wide. We're gonna do it on linear. I hadn't seen any of the footage yet. I won't see that until I go into edit. But I hope this is okay. If it is, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'll just record 4K from then on. Man, we're getting unloaded. I'm gonna eat my lunch. I'll see y'all when we leave because I got stories about Universal Leaf, which is where we're headed next. All right, so we didn't have the other guy running the magnet. We had the guy in charge of the yard out here running it and he's quick. So he got us unloaded fast. Only took him about 10 minutes. Uh, he got us unloaded fast, we're about to hit the road. On our way to Universal Leaf. And I'm pretty familiar with that place. I didn't work out there, but it was my last stop on Wednesdays when I worked for Sundrop. Alright, so we're going to Universal Leaf. And Universal Leaf used to be my last stop on Wednesdays when I worked at Sundrop. They got a huge place out here. And they got drink machines everywhere as well. Um, they probably had seven, eight drink machines. And we didn't usually service them until they started processing tobacco because that's what Universal Leaf does. They're a tobacco processing place. And they get it all in and then they send it to, you know, like RJ Reynolds and they send it to them people. So we used to have to go out there in the summertime and I'll tell you what, man, that place is hot. But it smells good because it's full of curic tobacco. And them, them people, man, they work hard. They got a, several, I think they had four different like conveyor belts where they'd pick through and get stems and anything that they weren't going to send to the uh, you know, cigarette company. RJ Reynolds and a couple of the other ones. I can't remember. They might not even be RJ Reynolds. Could be wrong on that. If I am, I'll put a thing up above it of what it is. But uh, yeah, we had to service them in the summertime. Sometimes, like after they were done processing, we'd have to go service like the main offices drink machines. I think they had two of them in there. But I'm quite familiar with this place. I remember the first time I went up there. I went inside their huge little storage area. Now you could 
could have put three or four football fields in there. It's so big. But this is North Carolina, and we're the country's top producer of tobacco. I that would explain why we've got this huge place. And it's right up the road. We're going to go up there. we got a trailer of scrap to switch out. And we're going to grab that, and we'll bring it back here, and we'll get it unloaded. Here's the time lapse, too, universally. who doesn't know uh, it's a year from when it was marked so it was marked March of 2020 which means it went out in March of 2021 see if we can get this wound up it's got some water in it that's for sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up on top in a minute We'll uh, look down in here just to see what she's looking like. Uh -huh. Alright, let's check these tires. This two are good. That one's not so good. It's not off the rim though. Tag is dead too. Good lord, who brought this out here? Must have been out here for a while. don't particularly like that but it is what it is we got lights we'll go over here and we'll climb up on top and uh we'll go check that out i really don't like that i'm glad they didn't do mine like that that's what we're looking like in there looks like it's gonna be some unprepared stuff which is another on the yard unload we're gonna get back in the truck and head back to the yard See ya. At this stoplight right here, if you were to make a right at this stoplight and go down a little ways, and on your right would be the main offices and where like all the employees and stuff park for Universal League. So it's a it's 
a pretty massive building. I think I just went, I don't even know how far, probably close to a mile, maybe three quarters of a mile from where we went in at. But you'll see it on the time lapse. You'll see I go through the light and then I go down a little ways. The Universal Leaf is a massive building. It's a massive and like come when they pick all the tobacco up, that place will be bustling with people. It, like a little like ant hill or beehive or something then people are just in there going every which way everybody's got their job everybody knows what they're doing and they are cranking out some uh, final product for all these big tobacco manufacturers that's universal leaf we're headed back to the yard now we're gonna get this unloaded it's 106 i'm hoping we can look up and get a short day today see y'all when we get back